Well, it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas, but for some, not so much. There's a shortage of Christmas trees this year, both living trees and the fake ones. Well, National Correspondent Mike Carter has the story. It's beginning to look a lot like... Looking a lot like Christmas. While Christmas trees here at Greg's Trees in Brooklyn are plentiful, that may not be the case everywhere this season. According to the American Christmas Tree Association, last year, 94 million U.S. households celebrated Christmas by displaying a Christmas tree in their home. Of those trees, 85% were artificial, while 15% were live. Despite expectations of similar consumer demand this year, the Christmas tree industry expects to experience a shortage of both artificial and live trees. Supply and demand, you know what I mean? There's the demand uh, this year, in the last three years, was, was greater than they expected. The younger people are buying more trees than they thought. Unprecedented weather events in the Pacific Northwest, including fires, drought, and heat waves, have also impacted live trees, with some Oregon farmers reporting losing up to 90% of their crop this summer. Seven, eight years ago, there was a glut of trees in the United States, so the growers didn't plant as many, mostly because they went out of business. They were like, really, really rough situation. The supply chain overload means fewer artificial trees will be available to consumers this season, and those that are will come with a higher price tag. The artificial tree business is definitely 100% being affected by the supply chain. It's a big item to ship across the country, you know, from China, basically. So some of this is just not getting in here in time. So whether you're looking for something real or something that just looks real, the time for choosing that perfect tree may already be in short supply. In Brooklyn, New York, for Newsmax, I'm Mike Carter.